Welcome to the funny carpet. When are you going to fix the ceiling? Um, I'm kind of making a video. Why don't you just call someone to get it done? I'm looking them up right now. So today, I'm going to show you how to fix your textured ceiling with a can of Homax Texture from the Home Depot. So what ended up happening to this kitchen ceiling is a classic case of kid uses too much toilet paper, quick flushes the toilet, locks away, and we have a water damaged ceiling below. Now, this was all kind of cracked and water stained along here. Now I thought the tape had popped loose, but when I got in here and scraped this all out, it's just the mud that was on top of the tape that was all crumbly and water stained. So I chipped that all out. And then I grabbed a box of all-purpose mud from the Home Depot. Now for any kind of bigger repairs, you're better off with the boxes of all-purpose mud rather than like one of those little tins of spackle or dry decks. The all-purpose mud will go on a lot nicer and just sand up better. Now this previous texturing had been painted so it made it a real pain to patch this in. It took five coats because I didn't want to get too crazy and get mud all over the texture because this texture won't really sand off because it's been painted. And once I got this all blended in nicely, um, I painted over it with some Kills Primer just to kind of seal this in so when I spray the texture on here, it won't want to pull away this patch and it'll stick a little better. So in terms of the type of texture spray that you're going to want to get, you're going to want to check out what type of sealing you have and then get the appropriate can for that. This stuff is more of a popcorn acoustical texture it does not really match what we have here. It's too heavy and the chunks are just not as smooth as these little ones. So I picked up this can of uh, wall texture, orange peel texture spray, and it matches quite a bit closer. Now once you've found your can, the last thing you wanna do is pop the lid off and start firing it on the ceiling. You're gonna wanna practice. Now I've probably spent about 15 to 20 minutes practicing with this stuff, just trying to replicate what I have on the ceiling. At first I was a little close, I was maybe a foot away, and the can says kind of two to three feet away, which I thought was a little crazy. But unless you are that distance away, it ends up getting a little too splattery. And if you read the can, it says, if you heat this up, then the product will get thinner. So what I ended up doing is putting this in the fridge for 45 minutes. And what that does is it'll get bigger globs and it actually matches a little bit closer. Well, I hope it's gonna match a little bit closer to what I have on the ceiling. So yeah, you definitely wanna practice this. And the other thing is too, it comes out surprisingly fast. So you wanna just get a feel for what you're doing before you start firing it and trying to blend in a ceiling. To be perfectly honest, I'm pretty nervous to spray this on the ceiling. There's a high chance that this is not gonna look good. All right, we've got one shot. This is a repair that's been three years in the making. It's showtime. Well, my initial thoughts on the spray was total home run. It's looking amazing. We'll see what it looks like after I paint. So the ceiling's painted, the repair is done. It turned out better than I could have hoped for. Um, I didn't have super high expectations using this can of texture from the Home Depot, but it actually turned out great. Right now I've got a big video light shining up on it, and you can pick it up a little bit in the video that it's different. Um, if you take a close examination, I was able to get the texture fairly close to what was existing here, but it doesn't have as much depth, and I didn't, wasn't able to get the giant glob that's on this other texture, but it blends in fairly well. Perhaps if I would have maybe cooled this down another 15, 30 minutes, it might have been better, hard to say. Yeah, you definitely do not notice the repair if you're just walking around, even if you glance up at the ceiling. Um, I know where it is, I can definitely pick it out. If you look at it in like a real low light situation, you can see where it is, but the average person will never ever see this repair, so I'm happy with the way it turned out. 
it's about 90%. And if you want to know the absolute best paint for ceilings, check out this video up here. And if you're a subscribing type, give this guy a little one finger punch in the eye down here. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.